Where is the love? It's been almost a year and a half and Love Park renovations are still not complete. The renovation began in February 2016 and was only supposed to take a year. I want to see reporter David Spunt shows us what's taking so long. A green fence blocks the view to the iconic Love Park, a park currently in pieces. A construction sign says completion 2017. But if you look carefully, the word spring is covered by a white piece of tape. Never is written on top. Because this is a mess. This is a mess. The park, a Philadelphia favorite that opened in 1965, was a popular spot for tourists to take pictures in front of the love sign. That's gone for restoration. And crews began construction on the park in 2016. How long does it take to renovate a park that's only a square block? So it's painful to look out there and not see, you know, this beloved public space that, um, you know, is the center of so much activity. Catherine Ott Lovell is the commissioner of Parks and Recreation for Philadelphia. She's overseeing the project and glances every day at the slow progress from her 10th story office window. The commissioner says the $16.5 million renovation will now cost more, but she doesn't have a specific number yet. The park will eventually look like this. But for now, it still looks like this. Commissioner Lovell told me crews found pipes and a ventilation system under Love Park. She said that put crews back at least six months. It has taken a long time and it's a really complicated project. I think it's more complicated than any of us thought that it would be. Commissioner Lovell says she understands the public's frustration and shares it. But she's confident by Thanksgiving. Love Park will open once again. I promise it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, Love Park is going to come back online really soon. In Philadelphia, David Spunt, CBS3 Eyewitness News.